Welcome back to Florida Sportsman, Project Dreamboat. Join us as Mike and Debbie at Wildfire Marine lay out all new wiring on Corey's 23-foot Seacraft restoration. Right here at Wildfire, we're getting ready to finish up Corey Fountain's 23 Seacraft project. Uh, now that he's brought down all of his electronics and, uh, and, and uh, stereo equipment, we're going to go ahead and we've got everything laid out. And now I'll turn it over to my wife, Debbie, who does all the wiring here. Um, she had 15 years experience at Pursuit Wiring before she started working with me. Now that she's got all that experience behind her, I let her take over. I just step back and it's her job now. Well, I started working with Mike. Worked with him for three and a half years. I quit. I went to go work for a big boat company. I stayed there for 14 years and did nothing but the electronics. So then I came back here and started working with Mike again. But I do have my certification. I have a, a loft upstairs where I build harnesses for other different companies. I subcontract. I just build their harnesses. What I also do is I pull all my wires upstairs. I'll run them out on my table. I use Pacer wire, which is ABYC. It's a standard wire, which is really good. I run it out, I cut it, I bring it back down, I feed it through the rigging tube, and then I start wiring everything up. What I do is I take my switch panel, I'll run all my yellow wires, and I, I jump them from switch to switch. Like I said, it's a ground. So once I get done doing all that, then I'll take my power wires and I'll follow my jumpers as I go across and then I'll tie wrap them so that, and then I, I bend the wire a little bit so it's a nice clean line going all the way across. I'll do them on both, both sides. And then I'll take the wires coming off of my switch panel, I'll, I'll do a little service loop so that if they ever have to pull the, the switch out, you know, and want to change wire or add something different because I give them two accessories. They can still and not mess up none of my work down below. What I like to do when I'm, work, when I'm putting a console together, I like to lay it out first. So I'll put my battery switches in, then I'll put my fuse panel. I'll take an eight gauge, eight gauge wire coming off the top of my fuse to, set, to do my fuses and then I'll take it down and I'll take it to my battery switch, my house. Then I'll take an eight gauge ground, which is yellow, and then I'll run right, right down to my battery. Well, when I take my wires and my grounds, I like to, I like to make sure that when they come up, they're in a nice, nice, neat little pile. I separate my grounds from my powers, and then I can just screw them down and put a tie wrap, and then I'll go for my next one and keep on working my way all the way up until I don't have no more grounds. The same way with my, my fuse panel. It goes off of my switches right to my fuse. I'll take them and tie wrap them as I go up and then take the rest of them over to the other side along with my fuses for my float switches. These are automatics. Once the wire goes into the fuse, the other wire will come out and it will go right to my uh, battery switch. This way it's always hot. So this way, if you're not on your boat and it starts pouring down rain, instead of you know, not having anything happen, the floats will automatically kick over, pump the water out. I really like the way it turned out. He can see there's a lot of pride in it and uh, he has easy access to everything. She ran an awful lot of material in a small space and you will never find a neater job than that and everything is done right. So. Now that we've finished up the wiring on uh, Corey's 23 Seacraft, we're getting ready to send the boat over to, to Dave at Coastal Marine. Uh, they're in the district right here, only a street away. We can't wait to get it back after we get the motors on it and see how it's, this boat runs. <laughs>